Welcome back to DXB. Today we're taking a little look at the diversity and just how diverse is the cultural and the working landscape out there in Dubai. To help us get to the bottom of this one, next guest is a purpose-driven leader in the human resources field, fostering advanced gender ambitions, inclusion and diversity in the workplace. Please welcome Lamise Mutaseb to the show. Lamise, thanks so much indeed for being with us. A director of People and Purpose at Deloitte Middle East. Now, obviously at Deloitte, an international brand with offices around the world. You look after the Middle East offices here at the moment. In, in an age of a call for greater diversity within the workplace as well, and yet in a place where you are blessed with a very diverse mm -hmm. workforce as well, is, are the challenges different here in the Deloitte office than they might be in other offices around the world? Um, good question, and thank you for asking that. Are the challenges the same? They are very similar. Um, it really also depends on how we're defining diversity and what element of diversity yeah. we're looking at. Um, if we're talking about cultural diversity, you're absolutely right, we have a real advantage. Um, it is a cultural melting pot. We have at Deloitte uh, just, I think, um, in the Middle East, over 100 nationalities. And with that comes you know, an abundance of different cultures and diversity in thinking and background, and, and that's just so it's interesting. It's a lot of cake being eaten throughout the year, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it is, it is. <laughs> There's a whole budget for that. <laughs> um, so, you know, really depending on what we're looking at when it comes to diversity, when it comes to, we're, we're, we've got a great starting point, I think, being yeah. in Dubai and the fact that it's already incredibly diverse. Um, looking from a private sector lens, there's always the need to bring more diversity in terms of attracting and developing national talent. Sure. And, and we've done an awful lot with that um, around a programme that we have called Clear Debt. And so having diversity from a local talent is probably a unique challenge to this region, but it's a very exciting challenge um, and developing you know, the right programmes and the right, um, really just the right platform for, um, to, to increase the participation of, of Emiratis in the private sector. I know, just to bring you into the conversation, in your experience, do some companies do it better than others? Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, going to the topic of Emiratization, let's say, I do like and enjoy this topic a lot because I think that uh, uh, opening the door for Emiratis in private sector uh, is a crucial factor in our country nowadays because uh, it's a main fact that working for uh, private and public sectors, there is a huge big difference. I worked in both. I currently work for a private sector. Uh, and I felt the difference because within the private sector, what I like is when you are working with expats, they are really keen on teaching you and they want to make you a better person. And I was surprised about that before. I didn't uh, understand, let's say, uh, uh, why are they doing it? Because I'm kind of risking their job because if they teach me better than, uh, than what they are doing, then they're risking their job. But uh, I came to know that uh, a lot, a lot of expats are excited to teach Emirati youngsters and are very proud of it. So they, th it's a success story for them. They will say, did you meet this person? Did you meet that person? It's a person that I developed, that I helped in their career. And they will make sure that our paths are even shorter than theirs. Mm. So I feel like uh, working in private sectors now is uh, also influencing the government sector to go more around uh, 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 focusing on teaching Emiratis the skills that maybe we didn't have the uh, a chance to learn being uh, living in the same country for all these years. So Lamise, I wanted to also ask you since we're focusing yeah. on the private sector, and this was something Tom had touched upon earlier, we love celebrating different festivities, yeah. different cultures and backgrounds. Is that something that you find works very well at Deloitte and how have you been able to um, help that environment flourish? Yeah, absolutely. There's so much influence. There's so much influence around um, the festivities, the cultural festivities, and there's so much influence in the market in general. I think, you know, we see that happening out there, but, but within the office and really within the company, we created a program called uh, Culture Connect. And uh, through the Culture Connect, what we do is provide a platform for people to talk about the significant cultural festivities that are important to them. So we've had uh, people from within the business, and again, this is not a, an HR project, right. you know, uh, but we've had people from within the business give talks around what is Diwali, why is it important, what's the significance. We've done Diwali, we've done Eid, we've done Ramadan, we've done Easter, and we've also uh, invited a lot of our national talents to come in and talk about what the festivities are in the UAE, such as National Day, because you know not everyone really understands the significance of UAE National Day as well. Um, and, and of course, there's lots of celebrations that happen in the office. Um, we take time out 
we connect with each other and, and I think that's also really important because it sparks curiosity in people to go and find out more. Talking and curiosity, I've got one final question if I may as well Please. because we've been having this conversation with all three of our amazing guests etc. Well, I, I, I'm conscious of the fact that you, we, we've talked a lot about you know, some of the, the challenges mm. uh, of multicultural workplaces etc. But especially given in light of, of the new initiatives when it comes to emeritization, is this a great opportunity that we see here at the moment? Around emeritization, you yeah. mean? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we, we need to reflect our market um, and you know, serve our clients by reflecting what's important to them and the market that we're in. So having emeritus in, in the workplace is so fruitful. It's so important. We learn so much from them. It's a wonderful cultural exchange as well. Mm. Um, and we're so influenced by the Emirati culture as well. So yeah. absolutely, it's, it's wonderful. And it's just, it's a huge benefit to any company to have a good representation of their local talent. Amazing. Well, Lamise, thank you so much for joining us and for all of your incredible insight. I'm now going to hand things over, though, to Dina, who I believe has our DXB in 60 quiz. I do indeed, <laughs> Elanud. Before we let you both go, Elanud, I'm going to put the spotlight on you for the next one minute, 60 seconds. I'm going to ask you some questions and I want you to try to answer as quickly as possible. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's cue the clock. Three, two, one. Okay. Elanud, if you weren't an entrepreneur, what would you be doing? Fashion. Fashion. Your first job? Cybersecurity. Ooh. Your motto in life and in work? My motto? Your motto, like something, motto, uh, a quote or something that you live by, advice. Elevate your life one lesson at a time. Your number one tip on uh, in workplace culture. Uh, cultural awareness, I would say. You have to research a lot about the culture to know more about how to interact better with people, have better communications and have better relations. Come prepared. Uh, a superpower that you wish you had. Uh, flying. <laughs> Your go-to place in Dubai, something that you, some place that you love. Restaurants, I would say I love fine dining. So, but uh, Josetta, maybe the, the oh. restaurant. Most used app on your phone? Instagram, because I'm an entrepreneur now. So I have to work a lot <laughs> Fair on enough. it. Fair enough, you got to mark your Life thumb. today is more around that. <laughs> and time is over, but just quickly, why Dubai? What's your favorite thing about Dubai? I think it's very, very diverse. It's a place of opportunities. And uh, I think uh, it's, it's a place that you can uh, excel, expand, uh, be yourself and uh, enjoy the time as well. Pursue those dreams. Thank you so much, Alanud and Luis. Thank you so thank much, you. both of you, full of fantastic advice today. Yeah, big thanks to our guest co-host and our special guest as well. Uh, but we ain't going nowhere. We are sticking, in fact, uh, is JT ready? Joseph, are you ready? Yeah, we've just got the thumbs up. We've got a live performance of Joseph coming your way in just a few moments time. Keep it locked here on DXB today.